So as I lay here in the grass on this beautiful day, sunset, I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, getting in control of those negative emotions. And last time we talked about um, actually tracing the negative emotion to the thought that was creating it and then stating that it has no control over you and then stating the opposite, that I am in control, that that thought, you know, that this is the truth. So this time I wanted to talk of taking it to the next step. And so if you're still finding that you're having a hard time bringing yourself into the present moment and those emotions are still and you're trying to ruminate over things and think about things that aren't serving you and there's no, there's nothing that can be done about that besides just making yourself feel bad, you know, that rumination, then claim your power over yourself. That is your survival brain saying there's some kind of danger, which there's not. We have a survival brain based on putting us in fight or flight so that we can fight or flee in real life or death situations. But often that survival brain is bringing these negative emotions to the forefront and making them out like they're, they're threatening, life-threatening even. And so we need to take control of that. Our survival brain does not control us. That's the animal part. We control it. So take back your control when you're in that moment. Say, no, I choose to be in the present moment. I choose the present over any imaginings about a future that may or may not happen. I trust that me to handle that situation in the future, knowing that that future me is not going to want this me to be ruining something that I may have to deal with anyways. Why would I ruin the moment when I already have to deal with whatever comes up? But that me is going to deal with it very well. And so taking back that control and saying, no, I choose to live in the present. I control my emotions. I choose to be in a beautiful state. This is my choice. My brain, my emotions respond to me because I'm the one in control. And starting to practice that over and over, taking back your control, because that's what it really is. It comes back to controlling yourself, your thoughts, and your emotions. And instead of letting it be dictated by that instinctive part of us, which is that kind of animal brain. So I hope that helps to start taking back your control. The more you do it, the more it will become a habit and a pattern that you don't even have to think about later.